Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Grand Guilds. Last time we left off, we found out some things about Skyla, and those things are that she is Eliza's sister, and her real name is Skyla Halfert. And now we're off to Solanul Canyon, which... I don't entirely remember why we're headed over here. Oh, yeah, there was some... They said it was really dangerous, but there was something going on over here. It's been a few days. They were like, yeah, there's really dangerous creatures over here, but there's something we need. Oh yeah, we're trying to get to Merka. Alright, we just need to follow this canyon through to the end. Merka should just be on the other side. And those are dragons. Ah, so that's why your ships aren't ideal around here. If we move quietly, those uh, wyvern probably won't notice us. Heads up. Eliminate all enemies. Excuse me, are those lizard men? Huh. Yeah, I'm trying to remember why exactly we were headed over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where Eliza's being held, I believe. They they didn't they didn't have her at that other place. They the took her here, if I remember correctly. And can I tell what you are? Like, will you will you tell me? <clears throat> Lizard folk. Okay. Cool. That's neat that we're getting like new uh, like races and stuff this late into the game. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> it's a bit early in the morning, so uh, I apologize if you hear any throat clearing and stuff. My voice is also probably quite a bit deeper. So there's that too. Um, I don't need... Okay, well, I, I was hoping to get some strength-enhancing things. We didn't get that. Okay, Dragon Flame. Ooh, ow. Dragon Flame really reminds me of the, um... I don't think they're called Lizard Folk in Divinity 2. Uh, I don't remember exactly what they're called, but, uh... Their special ability is just to breathe fire in front of them, and I always thought that was really cool. The Red Prince had it. Alright, so energy surge. Um, opening jab. My turn. And then if I do You don't have any armor, so that won't quite finish you off. But Paco can finish you, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paco can finish it. So I just attack one more time with Ray. Oh wait, no, mounting pressure. I forgot about mounting pressure. I always forget about mounting pressure. Uh, let's immobilize you, and hope that you don't have another breath attack. Bullseye. Because that would be nice. Yeah, that easy target is starting to do, um... Oh, wait. If damaged enemy has poison or bleed, deal 20%, but if the target is immobilized or stunned, you do 50%. Okay. That's pretty damn good, actually. Huh. Yep, I can see Paco being pretty strong. Okay, goodbye, Skyla. Yeah, we, we knew that was gonna happen. Let's be honest. Especially since they can just jump to you. I was about to say, that is gonna hit the guy on the bottom, right? He's gonna be worried if it didn't. Or sad if it didn't. Uh, I should've used Gap Thrust before. Oh well. Energy Surge is good, though. Um, I think I'm just gonna gap thrust you so that I can spear stab this other guy. It's unfortunate that I have to waste a turn or action points on that, but oh well. At least we're gonna win. Because this guy cannot survive. Oh wait, damn it. I should I should have used gap thrust again. Oh wait, I don't have gap thrust. Never mind. Haha, I am a genius. There we go. And level up. Congratulations, Pakful. I mean, if they level up much more, specifically because I'm having to use Paco and Skyla, I, I mean, they would be options for main members of the team, like I said, I think, uh, when I was talking about Skyla. Sniper and Skulker. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of Skyla getting up here, so she does get that buff. 
Fortunately, we don't have any, uh, we don't have Neil yet, so... We can't really make use of that. She has two opening jabs, which could be terrifying if somebody just runs up on her. Because she'll be able to just... She'll be able to get mounting pressure really, really high. Ow. Okay, so that wasn't good. Um... So move you right there. And... Hmm, do I want a headshot or do I want a dragon round? Let's just headshot. Okay, so that was pretty good damage. Let's get you up there to provide some backup. And I think with these two opening thrusts, followed by either a gap thrust or spear stab, will be enough to finish this. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough. Boom. Alright. And... Hako... Why don't you go over there and use Crippling Shot on this guy? I'll handle this. Crippling Shot's a pretty good ability. I do like this one. This card... Right on I do... I should probably just make a deck for them at some point so I can get rid of these stupid spike traps that he has. Because they're just not good. Ah. He can still move even though he's immobilized. Damn it. That seems to happen with some of the abilities. Like, sometimes there's just... Little exceptions to the rule. Oh well. I still don't think we're gonna have any problems winning this. Alright, Ray, get in there. And yep, you can finish it off. Goodbye, lizard folk. There we go. Lizard Man was always my favorite character to play, and um My aim is true. What is it? Uh Soul Caliber. Love Lizard Man. Something is in the way. Try moving. All right, well, let's use that, I, I guess. I guess. And yeah, come get me, buddy. He might just walk around it. Okay, he didn't walk around it. Cool. Fortunately, Paco's dead. Goodbye, Paco. And he burned to death. That's one of the worst ways to go, I hear. Unfortunate. But hey, he's bleeding for one round. The bad guy. <laughs> All right, and we got some good high ground for you. And Ray, if you would do the honors of finishing him off, because you're incredibly fast. Where do you think you're going? Too slow. Sorry, Renekton. Had to put you down. Um, excuse me, what the hell is that? Hey, look over there. Huh? What's a heavily armored guy like doing in a place like this? I have no idea, but I'm sure he's not here to make friends. Um, 926? Jesus. Bit strong, isn't he? Hmm. I'm scared to put her there and kneel because I'm afraid she might not be able to hit anything. Uh, let's go ahead and mark... Let, no, let's save it. It'd be worthless to mark him now because he's not going to reach us that quickly. Let's just go ahead and buff up. As much as we can. Yeah, alright. Alright, this is good. This is what I want. Vulnerable. And then let's kneel. Okay. Now, we gotta, like, immobilize him and stuff. We can't immobilize. Interesting to note. We can poison, though. And he's vulnerable, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, we can't. We're not close enough. Alright, well, let's just refresh our poison. There we go. Even though it hadn't even been a turn yet, so none of it had expired. Okay, and... We could opening jab, or we could just gap thrust twice. I think gap thrusting twice. Oh, wait, no, because I moved. Okay, no, that was my bad. Gap Thrust would have been a, done a lot more damage if I had opening thrust first. Opening jab. That was pointless. Why'd you jump all the way to her if you were just going to run away afterwards? Yeah, I gotta say, the, um... The, like... Oh, hey, he has... Raises cards? Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. 
I mean, I assume that's not Ray's My in it. <laughs> they just, you know, use the same abilities for this particular character and left the card art, but... That's just really interesting. But yeah, the, the, like, one-tile boss enemies are usually pretty easy, because you can just kind of kite them. They'd be harder if they had people to help them. Also, he is ragdolling out of control. Calm down, buddy. Something's happening. I can see his mana surging. What just happened and where the hell did he get that weapon? Finally a challenge. Eliminate the armored prisoner? Okay, so he has 632 health. Got it. Wasn't sure. Okay, so you got... Kneel. You're... A, that's actually a really good spot for you to kneel. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's reload. Draw some cards. Cool, and we can apply a vulnerable... Mm. Yeah, let's wait. We could do it this turn, but let's wait. Alright, and you also have Sniper and Skulker. If I'm not... No, you don't. But we're still gonna get you high ground anyway. Oh, baby. Three strength boosting cards. One turn. That is crazy. 45 extra strength. Okay, she might just one-hit this guy once he shows up. Again, one turn, just finish him off. Especially with that cast on him as well. Let's see, what would do more damage? Headshot or Dragon Rounds and that? I'm gonna do Dragon Rounds and a basic rifle shot, I believe. Yeah, because that did 105. And that did 93. So yeah, I think that was the better call. Can you be crippled? Immobilize the swiftness minus one, stun to weak. Uh, so no, you can't. But uh, we're gonna do it anyway, to lower your swiftness. And we're gonna do a bit more damage to you as well. Special delivery. Cool, cool. All right, and what do you got? Let's see, Lux Barrage. Or Magnum Fulger. Hmm. The Lux Magnum Fulger is the best call because it does slightly more damage, and I couldn't Lux Barrage and use another attack in one turn anyway. So. Magnum Fulger. I did almost kill him though. We did almost finish him off in one turn. Oh, he has one HP. How sad. <laughs> one HP. Damn. All right. Well, shoot you in the back. I imagine these characters are related to Raze somehow. And we are around Shadowvox HQ. They said that last time, so maybe these are like weaponized humans Shadowvox has been working on. Ugh, finally the exit. Let's get out of this place before we're dinner. Uh, yep. Uh, what are the odds it doesn't see us? I'd say very unlikely. Also, it has a book at its feet? Of course, I guess we're fighting a big old wy big old wyvern. And hey, it actually is a wyvern, because its wings are its arms. That's usually how I tell. Finally, a fight that can entertain me. Did that last one not entertain you? I thought you said you would. Hold on, maybe I can... Uh, and it leaves. Master, that was awesome! Yeah, you just kind of walked up to it and it ran away. <laughs> Oh, it was nothing, really. First giant scorp- first giant scorpions, they're a freaking wyvern, come on, man. Aren't you glad we didn't bring camels here? Master, what's wrong? Master. No, I know what it is. She must still be injured from the explosion in the capital. What? But how? Miraculously, she managed to survive- to manage, managed to save all our lives that day, even mine. The explosion is still taking its toll on her. That's right. We don't actually know how she saved us, though. More importantly, um, I got some med gas left if you need. Master, perhaps my water magic can heal. Calm down. I'm I'm fine, everyone. We're here to help Eliza. I just needed a moment of respite, everyone. I'm I'm okay, seriously. But master, come. The temple is just through the narrowing there. Yes. Y yes. But are you sure? I am. Eliza is waiting for us. So I'm kind of curious <coughs> about Lyria. 
Because uh, I noted last time when we got to her house, I guess, she had basically a dragon's horde. And I thought that was interesting. I'm like, huh, that's interesting. She's got a dragon's horde. And now she's she just spoke to a dragon, I'm assuming, and got it to leave. Is she a dragon? Because there's quite a few times in media and fiction that I've seen, like, dragons can take on a human form if need be. And that makes me kind of curious. It would be an interesting twist for sure, and they kind of teased it a little bit with the dragon horde, although I that could just be me reading into it too much. Hey, whose book is that? Did you drop this? When do you drop this? Huh, I think it's a diary. What does it say? Hmm, it only says Amalia on the inside cover. Wait, did that wyvern just... Give me that. You shouldn't be reading a girl's diary. Hmm, let's see. Entry number two. There's been a few more days. I asked Mother why we are traveling by ground. She says that the sky belongs to the gods. If they wanted us to fly, then they would have given us wings. I guess that makes sense. Entry 6. The main temple is way in the back. There are a few different buildings, things like the dormitory and the cafeteria. Mother says that only wyvern wives are allowed inside the temple, not us initiates. Wyvern wives. I've heard that one before. They were an ancient cult who turned humans into wyverns. Okay, so she's not a dragon, she's a wyvern. Or so they say. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, she actually read that. <laughs> That's weird that it was partially... Like, that line in particular was voice acted. Entry 21. I saw my friend in the garden today. Her face was covered in her rash. I admit it. I freaked out. Oh, and she doesn't have pupils or anything. It is all just bright green. It's just all bright green. That's enough of that. We should keep moving. We have other matters to attend to. Let's go. Yeah, so she's a wyvern wife, I guess? Weird. Okay, so I wonder if we have to use these same characters again. Yes, and in that case, I am going to futz around with their decks, even though we're not particularly having a hard time. Let's see, target self for an ally will cleanse bleed, target has neither heal for 30% of MP. Hmm. Tap reserves, easy target, discards cycling. Each time you discard a card, gain plus one to redraw that turn. That's not that useful. I would be down for getting rid of that, actually. When killing a poisoned or bleeding target, draw a card. When applying poison to an already poisoned target, apply bleed. That's pretty good. Um, Hit and run and hit. Eh. I think I'm going to use this toxic overload because it's... I pretty often apply poison to an already poisoned target. So let's get rid of that and apply Toxic Overload. Okay, so now we're going to build Paco a deck. Hopeless Romantic. Viper's Trap. Trap. Deal 18 damage, apply Poison. Apply Bleed. Deal 54 Piercing Damage and move back two tiles. Poison Gas Area. Deal 9 damage, apply Poison. Pretty good. Discard one random card, target draws one card, and gains three action points. Whoa, that's a good card. Okay, well, we're gonna unlock that for you, for sure. We can use that on, like, Ray, and it would be super, super busted. Deal 67 damage if target has immobilized, deal plus 33. Okay, so you can be pretty strong, Paco. I just had the wrong cards. I don't like his traps, though. The traps, I don't feel are too useful. I'll put one winged feet in there. I think do think I want this poison. Deal 9 damage and apply poison. Yeah. Let's throw one of those in there. Wait, are those? Oh, okay. Whew. I was about to say, is that all your cards? Discard a random card and draw three cards. Yes. That is amazing. Gain three action points next turn. Whoa. 50 piercing damage. Discard one random card. Target draws two cards and gains a redraw. Wow, okay, so you're pretty powerful, Paco. Let's put all your poison arrows in there. Um, I do like Crippling Shot as well. Hmm. Piercing Shot is pretty good, but I like more applying the status effects that I have here. We can put in one Rapid Fire. Is there any really area? Deal a bunch of damage and apply Bleed. Area Immobilize and Vulnerable 2. 
That's insane. Yeah, we're definitely putting that in. I definitely want Reign of Arrows still. Hmm. Let's see, what else do I want? I already put you in. Predator's Mercy. The 67 damage the target has immobilized deal 33. Extra. <coughs> hmm. I like Chivalry is not dead. Discard one random card, target draws two cards and gets a redraw. Like, if he just used that on, like, Ray and Skyla, that's so good. But he already has Hopeless Romantic. Yeah. It's a really good card, though, I gotta say. And we have how many Ranger's Instincts? We have two. Hmm. I don't want to make him too weak. Deal 18 damage and apply poison, or deal 9 damage and apply poison. I just don't like the traps, because they have to actually run into them for it to take effect. I'd rather just this, a big ol' area where you apply poison. Hmm. Okay, let's just choose one. Let's go... How many rapid fires do we have? One. Let's get this Predator's Mercy ability. Here we go. Alright, so... Poison Lover Boy. Here we go. And make sure we change deck to our new deck. And Skyla... Let's go ahead and change things around with you, why don't we? So you should have a... No, we've used all your passive slots. Do we have anything we're more interested in? Physical damage, also the 30% of damage resistance. Mm. Killing a vulnerable target gives a zero cost turn to deploy. Zero cost card that applies on vulnerability. Did I say turn? <laughs> Whenever a four plus cost card is used, the cost of the leftmost card. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, I remember now. We I didn't really like a lot of the uh, abilities that she has. I wasn't crazy about very many of them. Okay, well, passives I mean. So, build deck. We have Sniper Lady already. We have Reload, Mark Target, New Angle, Greased Bullet, Smoke Canister. Yeah, I wanted to make you about fire damage, didn't I? The Smoke Canister I thought was really good because it applied weak, but let's take that out actually. So we got Bandage, Grease Bullet, yeah, if Target has Burn. Then I got Dragon Rounds in, Headshot. I don't actually use Neil in this deck. Did I? Play Vulnerable to all enemies, draw a card. Deal 18 damage and apply Burn. Nah, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna go with this, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that deck too much. Let's just remake it. So, that was kind of like a burn deck. I don't really think I like that too much. Grease Bullet's kind of good, though. If I choose to use, um... Burning cards, Return Fire. Deal 38 damage back to attackers in range. I really like one tap. Like, that seems like a really good card, and it does a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna skip Dragon Rounds, and instead we're gonna focus on just, you know, being an archer. I mean, a rifleman. Riflewoman. I do like that, though. I bleed, apply burn, and vulnerable 2, deal 40 damage. Deal 86 damage, apply vulnerable 2, and reveal. If the enemy is vulnerable, deal plus 28. Hmm, that's pretty good. Hmm. I feel like there's better things I can get, though. New angle, I think I want one of those in there. Hmm. Recoil overdrive, push. Hamstring grenade. Let, let's get one expose. I think 96 damage if the target is vulnerable. Deal. No, let's get this instead. The kill shot. That seems incredibly powerful. 
And let's do Expose, too. There we go. I, I'm happier with that deck. So, there we go. Now, now they have cooler decks that I'm more happy with. So, now let's go ahead and go into another fight. Oh, I was like, what are we zoomed in on? It's a dragon wyvern statue, I guess? Travelers, have you come to offer yourselves as a gift to the great god of death, Lord Zera? Bishop, it is me, Stefano Triton. Ah, the boy prince, you return. Why? It is as you say, I seek entrance into Zera's cradle. Your royal blood, for entry. Zera is not here right now. You may enter for blood, or you may give a portion of your soul instead. Not here? Of course, I expected this. <clears throat> good, good, you may enter. Go, learn of Zera, learn of his passion. And that's Portal. Be quick, Zera will return, and he will not tolerate those that linger in his lair for long. A perhaps passionate death is what you seek. Eliza waits for us on the other side. Let's not keep her waiting any longer. Alright, well, let's see what's gonna happen in here. <clears throat> I think we're here. Damn it, what the hell? Is this Kara cool? Yes, it has to be, though I admit I've never been here. Then how do you know this is Kara cool? Hmm. Prince Stefano, what are you doing here? Gaia nor the bishop informed me that you were coming. Greetings, Lord Thule. I apologize for coming here unannounced. I've actually come with news from my father. Ridiculous. Um, sir? Did you forget that your father's assassin was sent to me? How could you possibly have news from a dead man? Besides, no one comes to Karakul to deliver news. Ridiculous. Uh... And? Who are these others? What are they doing here? Why did the bishop let them through? And why is the White Rose here of all places? What have you done, Stefano? Look, listen, Thul. Eliza Halford didn't kill my father. There's been a huge misunderstanding. Do you think I care about who ends up here or for what? No, all I want are subjects which, in which I can perform my experiments. What? Is it so bad that I give fodder here a purpose? The moment they were sentenced to remain here was the same moment their souls belonged to me. Haven't you ever wondered how the inner workings of a soul operates? Undead are stupid, unreliable, unsanitary. But what if you could freely manipulate the souls of any creature? Bend it to your will. What kind of power would you have then? That's crazy. And immoral. Thul, what are you doing? What happened to serving Triton loyalty? loyally? You are mistaken and uninformed, White Rose. My loyalty has never been to Triton. It has been to Gaian and no one else. And now that he is dead and his murderer resides with me, I will do whatever I please. You better not have harmed Eliza, you won't get away with this. Harmed her? No, no, no. She's a precious experiment right now. I won't let a bunch of irredeemable ignoramuses breach my lab. My soldiers will take care of you quickly, and then your souls will belong to me. We'll see about that. Okay, it's knights and armor. Got it. Alright, well, this is probably a horrible spot to end this video off, but I do think we're going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll pick up on this fight next time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Grand Guilds, and I will see you then.